guys, welcome to the search for a brand new video for you guys. Anthony, we're back with a new multi-language reaction video. This time it's going to be from Coraline, uh, the stop motion movie. If y'all have never seen it, I highly recommend y'all to check it out. It's one of my favorite films of all time actually, so I've been wanting to do this uh, video for a while. Um, I did have it in my list as well. But um, yeah, I got three videos to react to y'all. Um, it's gonna be great. I'm really excited to hear what it's gonna sound like to be honest. Uh, so first we have the scene, Don't Leave Me. I think this is from towards the end of the movie, so some spoilers for y'all. Um, where's the utter mutter going after Coraline as she's trying to go into the, uh, back into her world pretty much. Um, but yeah, and also before I get right into the video, I actually did make a Coraline, uh, kind of like a music edit on my TikTok if y'all want to check that out. And I think that will get uploaded to this channel eventually, later down the line, <laughs> whatever that is. So, uh, yeah, saying that, let's get right into it. Where are these? Okay, I will say those <laughs> those noises in Albanian were pretty weird to start off. <laughs> Yo, okay. I will say the other mutter sounds terrifying in Albanian. Like, I did not expect her to sound like that at all, to be honest. Alright, now we got Brazilian Portuguese. Oh, snap! Okay. Okay, I like that one. That actually was really scary because. She almost sounded like a freaking, she sounded like possessed or like something not like the grudge or something with the noise she was making. Man, that was crazy. Okay. Oh, Okay, that was a good one too. That actually, her scream in that one sounded pretty similar to how the English one is. Um, at least that's what I think. Okay, I think that is honestly one of the best ones. I put that in like top three for now. That is that one was really solid. Like the way she said, like don't leave me. Ooh, man. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. That was pretty good, actually. That also wasn't bad, too. Oh my... Okay, that was, that was also pretty good. The Croatian one... It's tough. A lot of these actually sound pretty good, actually. That's crazy. The soundtrack. <laughs> okay, we got English. Now we can like actually compare it to how it, the original one sounds. Like. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these actually, I feel like they are trying to sound similar to the English one. What I will say though, I don't know about some of these versions, but for some of them, I don't think I heard that she was saying, um, I'll die without you. I just heard that she was saying like, don't leave me. 
and then like the scream and that's it i don't hear anything else other than that i'm pretty sure some versions probably have it but i don't think every version has it Okay. Yeah, this one she's saying it. She said because um uh more more or more means um like dead pretty much. So she is saying it for the French. Georgian voiceover. Okay. I remember there was a one subscriber that mess that um commented in one of my last videos. He said that um it's not accurate for the voiceover right that there actually are dubbings for a lot of Georgian stuff apparently, but for some reason a lot of these YouTube videos don't show it, which I feel like is a shame because I would like to hear uh more of the actual like Georgian official dubbing. So, I mean, it is it, it does suck, but it's like you know, unfortunately, it's it's what it's what we have for uh of, that's available for us to watch. That would be funny if for the screen they they do the voiceover too. Okay, this one is scary. This is a good one. Hebrew, okay. Oh <laughs> snap, okay. Hebrew, alright, not bad. Okay, Hungarian. Oh my gosh, that scream. Okay, Italian. That sounded... The Italian scream sounded pretty similar to the English one. I don't know if they, they reused it, but it did sound very, very similar. I will say <laughs> that was funny because it didn't sound like that much of a scream. <laughs> it sounded more like uh, she's getting pumped, like she's getting ready, like she's like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. Oh. Okay, I like, I like this one, I like the Japanese. Because there's a bit of an echo and reverb going on when she was, um, when she was, like, screaming, like, the, don't leave me. There was, like, an echo, so I like that a lot, actually. A lot of these versions don't have that, so. <laughs> oh, snap. Alright, not bad. I do think the, the Japanese one sounds better than the Korean. But the Korean is not bad at all. It's, it's also good too. <laughs> okay, she also said it for Lattice Band. Okay, that was tough. That was a tough one because... I liked the Spain uh, Spanish a lot too, so that was very tough because the Latin Spanish also sounded pretty dang good. All right, got the Lithuanian voiceover. Oh, 
Nepalik manęs. Nepalik manęs, bet tada aš nemirsiu. I like... I love how the voiceover sounds so calm. Like, giving the situation is so intense. Persian glory, okay. Okay. I okay. This is interesting. Oh, and also this was Persian Glory for those of you who can't see because my camera is blocking it. This was interesting because they changed the music. I think this was the only one that they actually had a different soundtrack for. The soundtrack's not bad. It 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 does kind of fit. Uh, I wouldn't say it fits as much as the original OST. But it does. It it does. It can fit. I would say. Okay, Polish. <laughs> okay, that one is interesting because it has the same um. Same OST, same soundtrack, but I felt like the sound effects were a little bit louder. And I don't know if they did that to try to um, kind of enhance the fear of the situation. I'm thinking that's what they did it for. Alright, we got European, Portuguese. Okay, that was not bad. I think I put the Portuguese and, and Brazilian kind of the same. Oh dang, okay, this is good also. Russian. <laughs> okay, that was good too. That was a good one. Brushing. Oh man. Was that is that the last one? Okay. This is a tough one, because a lot of them actually sounded very solid, very close to the English one. I think my favorites... It's tough, because I, I like a lot of them, actually. But I guess the ones I enjoyed the most were probably the European Spanish, the Japanese. That Japanese one is great. Um, German. Uh, I guess I would put those as my top three. Um, but yeah, saying that, let's get right into the next video. Alright, we are on the second video. This is going to be the scene when the other mother is first offering Coraline the buttons for her eyes. Um, yeah, let's get For right you, in. our little doll. So, we got the English one first. Black is traditional. But if you'd prefer pink... I love the scene when they're like flashing the different uh, colors. No, you might make me jealous. No way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! Oh, but we need a yes if you want to stay here. So sharp, you won't feel a thing. Ow! For two, Kukuleone Vogel. Okay. Is this as traditional for. Okay, I think, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I, I think that the soundtrack does sound a little bit different for this scene, for so Albania. Rosa, cafe, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like that though, I like that. I like that they put um, that little haunting sound effect when they're flashing the different colors. That's really cool. I like that. <gasps> 
Kurën e kurës, nuk dhe më qep një kopë sa në sy. Unë e na duhet një po, nëse ti dëshëron për qëndroshë këtu. A që mpretë sa që nuk do të ndjeshë au. Travosi. All right, we got Brazilian, Portuguese, here we go. Preto e tradicional. Traditional. Mas se quiser pode ser rosa, ou vermelho, ou amarelo. Poderá me deixar com inveja. De jeito nenhum! Não vai costurar botões nos meus olhos! Ah, mas você precisa dizer um sim se quiser ficar aqui. É tão fininha que nem vai sentir nada. Ai! Okay, I love. I don't know. I like the. I like the Brazilian Portuguese dubbing a lot. It has like a charm to it. I don't know, like just the way the characters sound. For you, the tip. Bulgarian voiceover. I don't remember if the Bulgarian. Well, I don't think the last video had Bulgarian actually. <laughs> Може да ме накараш да завиште? Не, не става. Не искам копчета вместо очи. Но ни трябва да, ако искаш да останеш. Няма да усетиш нищо. Окей, Кастилин е спаниш. Ири го. Ел негро е зло традицион. Пелор си префирър роса. О, бермеон. О, берде палидо. Aunque eso me daría envidia. Ni hablar. No puedo ponerme botones en los ojos. Uy, pero tienes que decir que sí si quieres quedarte aquí. Está tan afilada que no lo tarás. Now. Okay, that was good. That was, that was not bad actually. I like that one. Al negro es el color tradicional. Pero si al rosa te agrada más o al barmallo o al chartres. Tot i que potser em faries posar gelosa. Ni parlar-ne, no deixaré que em cosiu botons als ulls! Però has de dir que sí, si vols viure amb nosaltres. És tan esmolada que ni te'n sentiràs. Ai! Za tebe. It's not bad. That one wasn't bad. Okay, I got Croatian. Crne su tradicionalne. Ali ako više voliš roze? Ili narančanste? Ili oker? Mogla bi me učiniti ljubomorno. Nema šanse! Nećeš mi zašiti gube na oči! Ali trebamo da, ako želiš ostati ovdje. Ako je oštra da nećeš osjetiti... I love the scream he did in that one. Černa je zov tradični. Ali jestli chceš ružove, nebo rumnjelkove, nebo žlute, I když ty bych ti mohla závidět. Ani nápad! Nechci mít knoflíky místo očí! To je ale nezbytné, jestli tady chceš zůstat. Je tak ostrá, že vůbec nic. Au! <laughs> ok, to wasn't bad, the check. Jsi pro tvoj, notre petite poupée. Le noir je tradicionel. Mais on les a en rose, si tu préfères. Ou vermillon. Ou vert chartreuse. Mais je serais très jalouse. Sûrement pas. That that like rhyme. That part rhyme. They felt like. Oh, elle est si pointue que tu ne sentiras rien. Aïe. Okay, back to the Georgian. Pas tara tojina. So I think all the Georgian ones are going to be voiceovers, pretty much. Fortunately. Black is. Traditionally, chaw yun da iras magram. To vardis peri kiat zeteli. Ano, mám to ano, když jsem nějá, tom to, co ta, jsem šel děba. No, you might make me jealous. No way! Ara, armčil děba, chyle by to ale bys měl rád. Magra, můj dědek to chce, tu aktor chce nagindá. Jsi se ti zvedl jen jarom, vy na perzi. Ouch. The ouch. They actually dubbed. They actually dubbed them saying ouch. You remember, y'all remember when I said in the last clip. I was like, oh, it would be funny if they dubbed the scream. That's kind of like what they did here with um, him feeling the pain. Schwarz is traditionell. Aber wenn dir pink lieber wäre, oder blutorange, oder hellgrün, obwohl ich dann vielleicht eifersüchtig werde. Auf keinen Fall! Ihr nehmt mir keine Knöpfe in die Augen! Oh, 
aber wir brauchen doch ein Ja, wenn du hier bleiben möchtest. So spitz, das spürst du gar nicht. Au! Okay, Coraline's voice in the Sehr German gut. was pretty good, I will say. That was solid. הצבע המסורתי הוא שחור, אבל אפשר גם ורדרד, או כתום בוהק, או ירוק בהיר? <laughs> לא, זה יגרום לי לקנא. <laughs> לא! <laughs> לא יהיו כפתורים בעיניים האלה! או, oh, אבל את חייבת, אם את רוצה להישאר איתנו. כל כך חד שלא תרגישי את זה בכלל. אאו! לא סבב, לא סבב. עתיד, קיש בובה. Mi a feketét szoktuk meg? Okay. De ha a rózsaszint akarsz, vagy cinóbert, vagy sártrőzt, bár lehet, hogy irigykednék. Soha! Nem tartok gombot a szemembe! De igen, kell mondanod, ha itt akarsz maradni. Olyan hegyes, meg sem érzem. Oké, de az nem bár, a legtább van, de hangjai. Bambolina nosztra. Bambolina. Italian. Il nero è tradizionale, ma puoi averli anche rosa, o vermigli, o verdini. Certo ne sarei un po' gelosa. No, mai! Non mi cucirai i bottoni al posto degli occhi! Oh, ma devi dirci di sì se vuoi rimanere qui. È così appuntito che non sentirai niente. Oh! All right, that was pretty good, Italian. I will say, like the what the deciding factor for me in this one is definitely Coraline's voice. It's like if she has a solid voice, I most likely will like that version. I think that's kind of like what I'm getting at. Okay, she sounds different. Her voice, Coraline's voice is a lot more high-pitched in the Korean dubbing is what I'm getting at. Doll, okay, I like that. I like the Latin Spanish, what they did there, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like she's foreshadowing or she's referencing what she wants Coraline to be. Like, you know, because Coraline, she has a doll that looks like her in the movie, so essentially, like, she wants to create, like, a human version of that doll. That's crazy. El negro es lo clásico. Pero si prefieres rosa, o vermellón, o verde. Aunque me daría envidia. ¡Eso nunca! ¡No funcionará por todos mis ojos! Pero tienes que acceder si quieres quedarte con nosotros. Y está tan afilada que no se dirá. Alright, Persian glory. Rangi si yo ras me mune. Pero ya que tú estás en mi tú ni surati pesani. Yo chocolati, yo no orangei. Oh man, that was creepy. That was very creepy hearing the other dad, the other dad's. Voice like that, and I do know I noticed also that they did change the soundtrack for the Persian. I like okay, what I will say, what I like about the Persian actually, I do like this. Um, I am curious why they did change it. I don't know if it was like a copyright thing or they just wanted to make it sound different. It doesn't sound bad though. It kind of sounds like it has like a little bit of like a mystical undertone to it. And then I do like how the other dad, he's more involved in this scene. You can kind of hear more of him, more of his mannerisms and stuff like that. I like that they did that. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that actually. Oh, it's like a little bit. Czarny to nasz kolor. Ale jeśli wolisz róż, czy cynober, czy szartres. Okej. Okay. Chociaż byłabym zazdrosna. O nie! Nie przyżyjecie oh, mi kusików yeah. do oczu! 
Jeśli chcesz tutaj zostać, będziesz musiała to zrobić. Jest tak ostra, że nic nie poczuł. A! Okej, co? Na B, na B. Again, with the doll. A infrieta foi ao tradicional. Mas se quiseres rosa, ou vermelho, ou azeitona, só que assim ainda fico com ciúmes. Nem pensem! Ninguém cose botões nos meus olhos! Oh, it's just like, don't even think about it, pretty much. Se tu queres ficar aqui... Tão afiada que não vais sentir nadinha! Au! Okay, it's not bad, actually. I like that one. Prin tradiție sunt negri. Dar dacă prefer roz sau caramizi sau galben. The garden. It sounds like she said garden. Nici gând! Nu vă lasă să-mi coaseți nasuri la ochi. Oh, dar trebuie să spui da dacă vrei să rămâi aici. E așa de ascuțit că nu simți nimic. Au! N-aș cu o căcă. Te atâți bine. По традиции черные, но если предпочитаешь розовые или может ярко красные или желто-зеленые, хотя я буду завидовать. Да ни за что! Не нужны мне пуговицы вместо глаз. Но придется сказать да, чтобы остаться тут. Она такая острая, что ты ничего не почувствовал. Ой! Да уй! Окей, это не плохо, тоже. I don't think there's any version of these uh, languages that I think yeah. sounds bad. Really, like, I can't think of any. They are Parlakums, yeah, the Serum Track. Ozama, Silix, can I finish? Hi, Romans! Go, Serum, do me the Jamasinus! I'm a busy comic, sir, son, edit the Millicent Tatler. Oh, could I see Ricky if you say he sent me? Ah! Okay, that was it. This is a tough one again. It's tough because a lot of these sound very, very solid. But I, what I will say, um, so for this one, probably I will pick the same languages again. But what I will say is I like that Persian one. The Persian does sound different, actually. And you can kind of see and get that like influence of what they were trying to do. So I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, saying that, let's get right into the next video. All right, and last we have uh, Coraline and the secret door. Um, I think this is the scene when she's going up against the other mother, and um, she's kind of like having that argument, right? So. Eu quero ficar com a minha mãe e o meu pai de verdade. Eu quero que você me deixe ir embora. I want you to let me go. She said. Isso é jeito de falar com sua mãe. Você não é minha mãe. Peço desculpas agora, Coraline. Coraline, she said. Okay, so it it does sound. Vai ter uma chance. Eu vou contar até três. Um. Oh man. Dois. Três. No, like, I don't know. There's something about the Brazilian Portuguese I like a lot. Like, I just feel like the it fits the voices very well. Um, I don't know. Like, there's just something about it. I like it a lot. With my assistance, keep the same mic. I got to go. Okay, with that, the voiceover again. Is that the kind of good voice, Mica? You are Nessie, Maya, Mica. Is Vinícius Vednaga Coraline? Няма. Давам ти време, докато преброя до три. Едно. Две. Три! Окей, което ме върваме това е, че за българия българия българия, това е, че за българия българия българия, че за 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 българия and then for the mother's voice, it's more like a narration, if anything. Like, she's just kind of just, like, reading it off a script. And it seems like it's more of, like, a story. Like, she's kind of, like, reading it off a book, pretty much. Disculpate. 
Enseguida. Coraline. Oh, you can hear like the like the anger in her voice, like she's ready to explode. Una, dos, tres. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Okay, that. Oh man, that's a, the other one too that I like a lot is the Castilian Spanish. I don't know, like it's it's weird because it's like usually it's kind of like I'm between the. Castilian and the Latin, and they both sound pretty good, I would say, but I don't know, it's tough. It's tough for this one. Amb els meus pares de debò. Vull que em deixis marxar d'aquest lloc. És així com li parles a la teva mare? Tu no ets la meva mare. Vull que et disculpis. Ara mateix. Coraline. No. No. Temps de temps. Fins que compti a tres. Un, dos, tres. Okay, that was that was good too. That the Catalan actually was good in this scene, I would say. I don't know, I I do like the Castilian a little bit more, but that Catalan was also pretty good too. Smojem pravom mamom i tatom. Želim da me odmah pustiš. Zar se tako razgovara s majkom? Ti nisi moja majka. Ispričaj se. S mjesta. Coralina. Coralina, ok. Her name is Coralina. Sada ću brojati do tri. Jedan. Dva. Tri! Ok, I got it. I got chills. When she said three? What the heck was that? The way she said it. Wait, wait a minute. Let me go back. Jedan, dva, I got like three. Oh, snap. Okay, that that was really good. I think this actually was one of the best ones. The way she said three. What the heck? That was crazy. Coraline, no. Okay, so it seems like there is a little bit of a a difference with her name depending on the language. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I want to be All right, I can hear that. With my the real one. mom and dad. I want you to let me go. Is that any way to talk to your mother? You aren't my mother. Apologize at once, Coraline. No. The way she says three I'll in the English one was pretty good too, I will say. Three. The delivery, and I think that's why a lot of these one. languages are trying to to like up Two. that. Three. Yeah, yeah. Definitely Three. when you hear the, the Croatian one, I feel like they're they really took inspiration of that English one, like envie de partir. Je veux revoir tout de suite mes vrais parents. Il faut que je sorte de ce monde compris. I'm not gonna lie though, it, this has nothing to do with the with these um the languages actually, but in the movie sh she's eating uh they called cocoa beetles in this scene, right? And I don't know, there's just something like <laughs> the way she's like chewing it and enjoying it. I always thought that it would be cool if they did like if they actually sold it in stores, right? Like it could be like based off the movie pretty much. And I always thought that would be cool, but they never they never did it. I feel like that was kind of like a missed opportunity for uh, like a to not do that because they already got merchandise on their website, so it's like they might as well, you know. <laughs> oh man, here we go. <laughs> oh 
Okay, that was really good. The way she said to <laughs> That was really good. I'm not gonna lie. I put that right next to the Croatian one, to be honest. Ich möchte, dass du mich gehen lässt. Redet man in diesem Ton mit seiner Mutter? Du bist nicht meine Mutter. Ich möchte, meine dass Mutter. du dich entschuldigst, Coraline. Nein. Okay, the way she said Coraline. I du remember the German one was, was pretty good in the other two clips we saw. And that other two clips we saw was, it was pretty, pretty solid. Okay, I like that. That was pretty good. Yeah. Okay, the Hungarian is a little bit low, so I don't know if y'all can hear that, but... Oh man. The way she said it. Mamma e papa. Lasciami andare subito. È questo il modo di parlare a tua madre? Tu non sei mia madre. Io spero che ti scuserai, Coraline. No! Ti darò tempo fino a tre. Uno. And like, that's another thing in this scene, right? Like when she's saying, I'll give you to the count of three. I wonder what would happen if Coraline did say sorry before the three. Would she just turn back to normal? Because it's like, at this point, she's already revealing herself to be like this evil, you know, monster or whatever she is. So it's like, even if she says sorry, it's not like it's going to fix the things really. Like she's already seen what she looks like, you know? That's <laughs> it's not like she was singing like opera or something. Okay. Okay. No. Te voy a dar hasta la cuenta de tres. Uno. Dos. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I actually like it. The Latin American uh, Spanish sounds good in this version. It actually does. So, I don't know. I guess maybe it's because I haven't seen a lot of footage in that language but honestly it does sound really good too i would say it does rival the the spain that was solid i'm not gonna lie coralino coralino <laughs> I like it when they do like Coralino, Coralina, like. Okay, that was that was a good one. That was a good screen. That was not bad. You feel like a heaviness. Of her. Immediate, Coraline. No. 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 Mia, my mom. Okay. 
Coralina. We're back to the Lina again. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know if I like that one. The way she said it, it didn't really have that big of an impact uh, compared to the other languages we've heard. Just the way she was like, three. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a heaviness, the way she said it. Oh, <laughs> okay, I like this one a lot. This is probably my, in my top three. Just the way she said it. It didn't even sound like she was saying the number. It sounded like she was genuinely doing like a scream of horror. Oh man, that that is crazy. That one is crazy. Man, okay. <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> Hayır. What the heck was that? <laughs> what was that? She gave like a like a deep yell in there. What the heck? <laughs> That was good, bro. I like that. Okay, Ukrainian. Ni. No, it's uh, Ni. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. When you compare it to the Russian, I don't think that was as um, as good. All right, but that is it for um, this video. I got three clips. Um, I think there are a few more. So depending on how this video does, maybe I'll do a part two. I don't know. We'll see. But um, saying that, let me know what you guys thought about this video. Uh, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more, click that bell for notifications. And saying that, if you guys have any other recommendations, please leave it down in the comment section below. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, right? Peace out.